right, welcome back to another one. We got me and Charlie Boy. Today, we are on the Ottawa River. It's kind of a staple here in the valley. And uh, yeah, just got to my first spot. I'm gonna try jigging first. And then if I can't really get anything jigging, kind of fish in the hot spots, I'm gonna troll with a uh, bottom bouncer. So I'm gonna try out these uh, Kalen and Acme. What is this, the four inch jerk minnow junior? Pretty good color. So I got that set up on my Claris rod and uh, my Sedona reel. And yeah, I just got that set up on just a white jig head. It's a, uh, it's a one of those V-shaped jig heads. I'll put the link right here, but that's my setup. So this spot here has some pretty good current behind me. And uh, I'm just gonna keep the motor in reverse, keep putting up, keep myself in the zone. And we're going for walleye today. So the limit out on the, on the river here in zone 12, I'll pull up my phone and check. I believe it's five and it's July 5th today. So in the early season, there's a slot. Let's see, the Friday before the third Saturday in May to December 31st. So we're well within that time slot. The limit is five, must be less than 40 centimeters from March 1st to June 15th. So we're after June 15th. So there's no slot anymore. And uh, yeah, our limit is five. So we're gonna try to get five good eaters. Well, at least, at least a couple. For, for a little snack tonight and then see if we can get a couple big ones too so that's the game plan we're just gonna pop back up here where there's a good current break and start jigging okay so I switched up a little bit to more of a hump and I think I just had a hit, had a hit there we go got a nice little pocket of fish and finally got one on Oh yeah, right species, right size. There we go. There's a little stud walleye, probably about a 14 incher, we'll measure him and make sure he's a good size to keep. Oh yeah, he's a 15 incher. He's a keeper all day. Charlie, there we go. Ottawa River Gold, baby. Now with the river fishing here, seems to me like wherever you find current, you'll find walleye, right? So this spot here, it's kind of a turn in the river. And uh, yeah, there's some good current. Now the spot I started first had a lot more current. And I don't know if that has anything to do with it. Maybe it's too strong for them, don't know. But this spot here has a little bit less current. Picked up a walleye, you know, as soon as I moved over here. Pretty happy with that. A few more would be ideal and then Charlie and I can have a little fish fry. So I just trolled over a good looking area. I'll show you on the fish finder. Look at that for a spot. So yeah, it looks pretty good. Nice little point here. So I just trolled around it, marked a few fish off the point. So I'm just gonna slow down with the jig. They can put that bait right in front of their face. They don't seem to be too aggressive. The walleye I did catch, he smoked it. He had it crushed. So to me, I just gotta find the fish, right? And if covering water is what I gotta do, then that's what I'll do. But, you know, jigging them obviously is one of the nicer ways to do it. There we go. Got something nice on here. Oh yeah, big walleye. Big walleye. There we go. Beauty. Oh, and the hook popped out. How's that for a walleye? Look at that beauty. Wow, he's kind of got a funny fin on him. What a... Charlie! He wants to keep him. I think we are going to keep him. He's a beauty. There we go. 19 and a half inch beauty with a funny fin on him. What a stud. Just got back to the spot. Another walleye. There. Another beauty. Oh, <laughs> right away. I found them. They're up shallow. There's another 15 incher. What a beauty. 
still using that jig with the Acme Kalins uh, jerk minnow right here. Let's see if I can get another one. They seem to be they seem to be stacked. Like they're in shallow here. You know, probably about 15 feet of water. That was basically back-to-back -back casts. Caught that big one, drifted out, and I'm I'm off it now. So I should actually put up in. They seem to be right tight to the current break. Yeah, let's go in there. Let the jig sink all the way to bottom. So right here is 13 feet. Maybe that's the number. Or maybe I got lucky with two of them. There's one. <laughs> Another beauty. Look at how he choked that Acme Kalins jig. This one's a little bit smaller, probably about a 13, 14 incher. We will release him. So this is the spot we're fishing. It's a saddle between this, this uh, island and a shoal that comes up. And the current's ripping right through the middle here. And we're drifting off, as you can see way off here now but we'll put back up in there see if we can get another one so this little google eye jig here awesome jig good strong hook has a bait keeper on it i'm just threading this on right up the middle probably to about there and then turning the hook through and then it sits perfectly perfectly flush nice and straight so I just pulled up onto a nice uh, mid-river shoal. I just kind of wanted to explain how how I'm jigging this uh, Acme Kalins jerk minnow. I'm letting it sink all the way to the bottom, and then I'm just doing that. Just a little pull it up pretty quick, and then a flick at the end. And then let it sink all the way back down to bottom. Pull it up, flick, back down. Pretty good. Pretty good technique. There we go. Thought another bass, but just, just like I was saying. Oh, there's a whole bunch of bass. Charlie, there's like 10 of them. They're schooling up. Did he ever choke that? They're schooling up there. Not walleye, but hey, fish is a fish. All right, here we are back on the river. It's a rainy morning, but uh, I'm thinking we can catch some fish today. All right, I've had some pretty bad luck. I just caught two nice ones, and I got a big one on here. Yeah, really nice one here. I've got into a school of big ones. I got two nice, nice ones on the stringer. Oh yeah, that's a beauty. So I switched over to the jerk minnow and uh, I found that they were short striking the jerk minnow so then I put on a jig and a worm. Anyway, put the jerk minnow back on and the big girls just started biting. Look at that for a walleye. Another beauty. About a 19 inch or so. I got uh, three on the stringer. I got one small one and two big ones. But uh, I think I'll let this big girl go. Cause they seem to be biting pretty good. So, put it on the release. <laughs> Here we go, just got back up to my spot. Another one. Maybe this will turn into a video yet. It's, uh, like I said, it was a slow morning. They were short striking it. I was missing fish all over the place. But uh, yeah, gave it a couple hours, it's 7.30 now and they're finally hitting the jigs like they want to eat it. 
So yeah, I just got that jerk minnow on and uh, fish in a saddle uh, where there's current ripping through, casting up into the middle of the saddle. It goes from eight feet, six, eight feet down to about 15 and then up to shore kind of behind me. And the current's ripping right in that channel. There's a big one. Oh, that's a big one. Just like that. That's a really nice one. There we go. Another big one. A lot of big ones today. A lot of big ones today. Wow. Just footballs. You know, he's probably 17. Yeah, 17 incher, but just a football. He's going on the stringer. I'm casting way up into the current. Cast into the current, let it sink all the way to bottom. I have my motor on just so that I keep my position. Watch your line, you'll tell when it hits bottom and then just popping it back. And then you'll just pick up one of the times and there'll be a fish on it. And that's how fast your morning can go from nothing to almost a limit. I got four now, one small one, two big ones, and one kind of medium one. Big, I mean 18 inch or so. And then, uh, yeah, that's just how fast your morning can go from kind of sucking to all of a sudden you're catching fish. You know, I moved spots, I found that they, uh, they were short striking me, switched it up, switched it around, figured out what they wanted, how they wanted it, and really just waited, kept fishing, just put in some time, and then they turned on. And I got another, oh, a really big one. Yeah. Oh, that was probably like a 25 incher. Oh, that was a big one. Damn it. I didn't have them hooked good. Oh, that was a really big one. Oh, damn it. Well, this one's not as big. And I hooked him in the belly. But hey, fish is a fish. There we go. I want that big 25 inch or that was a tank. Nice to see that the fish are still biting here though. Gives me hope for uh, probably one of the last spots I'll fish before I head in. There we go, got a little bit nicer one on. Yeah, there we go. About a 14 and a half incher. Beauty. Rinse and repeat. Charlie. They are biting today. They are biting today. Bottom contact is key. If you're not hitting bottom, you're not catching fish. All right, I just got back from fishing there this morning and Realize I didn't film an outro, so hope you like this one, guys. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned to the next one. Absolutely smashed them on the uh, jerk minnow the last couple days out on the river, and what an awesome time. So get out, get fishing, walleye are biting. Stay tuned to the next one.